everyone. Here are five things to know when closing at the end of the month. As a result of the increased sales volume during the first half of 2021 in Ontario, lawyers' offices will be extremely busy at the end of June, July, and August this year. It is more important than ever for buyers and sellers to be properly prepared in advance. Here are five things to remember. Number one, avoid buying and selling on the same day. If your sale is delayed for any reason, you could default on your purchase transaction. Worse, it is possible you may close your sale very late in the day without giving you enough time to close your purchase. Now you have to likely stay in a, ho in a hotel and pay extra moving costs while your purchase closing is delayed. It is preferable to close your purchase a few days early and obtain bridge financing for a few days. The cost should not be more than three to five hundred dollars in interest costs and you will likely save more just in moving costs. Number two, have your mortgage conditions satisfied early. Since lenders are also swamped this summer, many times the mortgage instructions do not come to the lawyer's office until just before closing. Make sure you have satisfied any conditions that the lender has given you early on so that this does not cause problems right before closing. Number three, how much money will you need to close? It is important that you have a general idea how much you owe the seller on closing and what the lender is giving you after deducting, for example, any CMHC premium or PST, administration fees, or interest payable in advance. Once you know what your lender will be advancing, you can then add in your legal fees and land transfer taxes to obtain a good idea of the total down payment you will need to close your deal. Number four, know when you can pick up your keys. Keys can only be released when the deal has closed. Since your deal may not close until as late as 5 or 6 p.m., the buyer lawyer cannot release the keys until that time. Be careful about reserving an elevator at your condominium, as you may not get there in time. At our firm, we now make it a practice to have the seller leave the keys in our own lockbox, and we just provide the buyer lawyer with the code so that the keys can be picked up by the buyer at the home immediately after closing so that there is always a safe exchange of keys. When do the sellers have to be out of the house? In Ontario, sellers have until 6 p.m. to vacate the home. But in my opinion, they should try and vacate earlier if possible. Sellers should also remember to remove any debris from the house and the yard and to leave the home in a clean condition. Being prepared for closing this summer can avoid a lot of unnecessary stress later. At our law firm, we do every part of a transaction safely, whether it is signing documents through a video conference, transferring funds to our trust account digitally, and arranging lockboxes on closing for the keys. If you need assistance, closing any real estate agreement, please contact me at mark at realestatelawyers.ca or toll free at 1-888-876-5529. Thank you.